300 hours. Is that what it really takes to pass exam P? Hi everyone, I'm Bria from Edge Actuarial and I actually had someone ask me an interesting question yesterday. They said, why did I fail exam P even though I studied for 300 hours? Well, this is my response. It really doesn't matter how many hours you spend studying for exam P. 300 hours might work for some people, but for others it's going to be 500, some it might be 100. But the number of hours is irrelevant in whether or not you'll pass or not. Here's why. Because studying for the exam is a process. If you don't follow a good process for studying, then you're really decreasing your chances of passing the exam. Whether, you're, whether or not you pass really depends on whether or not you had a good study strategy. So, for example, one person could spend 300 hours going just through their study materials. And for most people, that's not good enough to pass the exam because they have to get some actual experience doing hundreds and hundreds of practice questions. So what I'm trying to say here is that number of hours doesn't matter. What matters is that you're studying in the right way. So what I suggest you do is take about one month to go through all your study materials. So that means going through your ASM or your ACTEC study manual or watching all the videos in TIA or coaching actuaries. Give yourself one month to do that. And then give yourself maybe a week or so to review all the difficult concepts because that'll really help solidify those concepts before you start doing practice questions. So that's the next stage. Go on to do tons and tons and tons, hundreds of practice questions. And that will give you exposure to a whole bunch of variety of questions and all the different kind, kinds of ways that they can ask about different topics. And once you've done that, you want to start doing practice exams. Now for some people, this whole process takes way more than 300 hours. But I hope you understand that the number of hours is actually irrelevant in whether you go through all the steps that are actually necessary to really give yourself the best chance of passing. So I hope this video helps and I hope you don't just expect to spend 300 hours studying anymore and expect to pass because that's not how it goes. So if you want to get more study tips just like this, I'm going to leave a link to my post in the description below. You can go there and at the bottom you'll find a sign up form where you can sign up to get tons and tons of free advice and study tips sent right to your email. I send them out very frequently actually. So if you want those, go sign up. <laughs> okay, see you in the next video. Bye.